for most of us. 2020 has been a year like no other in our lifetime. It was at the very start of the year that news was coming in of an outbreak of a virus in China, and we all know what happened after that. Full lockdown, resulting in many cancelled plans. Perhaps we were overly optimistic in thinking that we would all be back to normal in a few months. I found that I was anxious of not being in control of my life as I was used to being. This turned my thoughts to Mary and Joseph and of the anxiety they must have felt with the circumstances surrounding Jesus' birth. We all know the account in the Bible. When heavily pregnant, Mary had to travel for several days riding on a donkey so that they could be registered in the census ordered by the Roman governors. They had no accommodation and everywhere was busy and full. They found shelter given to them by a sympathetic innkeeper and Jesus was born. Their return to Nazareth was not simple either. After a warning that Jesus would be harmed by Herod, they have to flee to Egypt and take refuge there for a time. In lockdown, we too found examples of compassion in the many ways community groups activated to befriend and provide essential items to the less able, housebound and those struggling to provide food for their families. As the year draws to a close, we are hopeful that 2021 may after all bring hopes of a vaccine to fruition and so enabling us to resume a more settled version of our daily lives. Finally, I would like to share these lines from a book I've had for many years with you. No vision and you perish. No ideal, and you're lost. Your heart must ever cherish some faith at any cost. Some hope, some dreams to cling to, some rainbow in the sky, some melody to sing to, some service that is high.